Ladies and gentlemen, Kamala, of all people, is on her way down to Florida to give a speech on how she opposes what's going on with Black history down there. And seriously, y'all, Kamala, would you trust a person to speak on your behalf that would say this? So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit Black people. No. So, you know, Kamala's talking about gaslighting. I think her visit is gaslighting. You know, being that all she want to do is go down there and jaw jack and then hop on a plane and leave is of no use. I think she needs to stay her butt home, do your job as vice president, and leave this fight up to everyone else because the Biden administration have already proved they are not interested in helping us. They have showed this his entire first term in office. They have done very substantial things for other people, but for us, they do really meaningless things, including giving us Juneteenth. So, we're, she's saying we're fighting back against attempts to gaslight us and cover up our history and rewrite the horrors of slavery, Harris said Thursday night. Changes to social study curriculum were approved by the Florida Board of Education on Wednesday. The divisive revisions come just months after the state rejected the advanced placement course on African-American studies, right? And out of all of the histories of different groups down there, African-American studies was the only one Ron DeSantis attacked. And African-American studies are the only one that he is revising the history on, trying to just change the events of what happened during chattel slavery. He's not doing this to anyone else. It's just us. He has not made drastic changes to anyone else's history, just take notice. Harris will deliver her remarks in Jacksonville, Florida. She is also expected to meet with parents, educators, civil rights leaders, and elected officials to discuss a variety of issues, including bodily autonomy, gun violence, and voting. The main criticism against Florida's new social study standards is that they are a step backwards in telling a full and accurate history of America. Under um, elementary school guidelines, children will learn to recognize famous black figures, including Rosa Parks, Zara Neale, Hearst and George Washington Carver. But educators argue those lessons don't go deep enough failing to include studies on their histories or struggles. The new standards will make sure that though the fourth grade elementary school students' knowledge of African-American history does not extend beyond able to know who is famous, African-Americans is when they seem, um, you know, this is what teachers are saying that it really is not enough just to teach them about famous people within our group. That this is what the Florida Education Association, a statewide teachers union said. So the guidelines for middle school students, instructions include how slaves develop skills in which some instances could be applied to their personal benefit. Uh -huh. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us, and we will not stand for it, Harris said Thursday at a national convention. So uh, Paul Burns, chancellor of Florida's K through 12 public schools, defended the new curriculum and argued that the criticism is a false narrative. 
Well, uh, Paul Burns can go kick rocks, you know? So you can always, you always know who DeSantis people are just from their overall opinion. You know, they're just agreeing with him. For the folks in the media and the teachers union who are watching, we want you to please pay close attention because you've been peddling really a false narrative, Burns said. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the latest. Harris is going down there to give a speech. That's really the the big thing that I think the Biden administration feel they are doing. And look, her going down there is to me of no use. If you're not gonna go down there and take action against what's happening, giving a speech is a nothing burger. It really is. Nobody wants to hear a bunch of word salad when things need to be done. And that's all we're gonna get from the Biden administration. So when he gets on the campaign trail, he's gonna talk, well, I sent Kamala down there to discuss this. Who the hell cares about that? You know, it has been inaction from this Biden administration for the last four years. But here we got some folks that are determined to get right back out there and vote for him again. It's unbelievable. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.